Hello Words of Life family, good day to you. This is Kat from WLCM Batangas and I'd like to welcome you to our fourth day of the season of prayer and fasting. Now the theme for the season of prayer and fasting is going back to the basic, pursue intimacy in relationship with God. And the title of our message today is Be Filled, which the main verse is in Matthew chapter 5 verse 6, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Now, prayer and fasting is a powerful tool to pursue an intimacy with God. And maybe some of you may ask, can we not pursue intimacy with God by just prayer alone? What difference would it make? And let me tell you that there is a huge difference when we fast and pray rather than just settling on prayer alone. Now, the Word of God says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And maybe you might ask, how can we relate this to our prayer and fasting? Prayer and fasting provides the opportunity to hunger for God, for His words, for His presence. It provides the opportunity to choose Him more than the food that we crave to eat, the drinks that we crave to drink. It provides the opportunity to choose Him more than the shows that we've been wanting to watch on Netflix or the things that we want to do on our phones. In prayer and fasting, it turns our focus to God and God alone. And when we come to a point that we choose Him over those things, then intimacy begins. We are close to God as we chose to be. As we draw near to God, He draws near to us. This is what fasting can do. It draws us near to God. It draws us near to His words because there are certain things you can't hear God speak to you until you begin a fast. Fasting makes us more sensitive to His words to His desire for you, His will for you, any sins that hinders our relationship with God and enable us to walk according to the will of God. And I can attest to that. I was able to hear two major words from God to me this year during my first 21 days of prayer and fasting last January. And I experienced breakthroughs when I heard a word from God so do not underestimate the power of prayer and fasting. Fasting provides the opportunity to hunger for God. And when we are in that point where we are hunger for God and we just want God more than the food that we want to eat or the things that we want to do, then we shall be filled. Matthew chapter 5 verse 6 says this, that those who hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. Only those who hunger and thirst for God shall be filled. Only those who hunger and thirst for His words shall be satisfied, shall be filled. Do you want to experience the fullness of God's presence in your life? Then begin to fast. It's never too late to participate in this seven days of prayer and fasting. So let's all pray together. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we want to thank you for this wonderful word. And we ask, Father God, that you give us the strength to begin to fast or continue to finish this fast until the end. Because we know, Lord God, that our seeking you, Lord, is not in vain, that we shall come out stronger. And there's a huge difference when we fast and pray. In this we pray in Jesus' name, amen.